So last week's video, I finally started the process of converting my Toyota Tacoma truck bed into an overnight solo camper, kind of like a tiny camp out in the back of my truck. And if you didn't see that video, I built a custom bed system. It had a drawer. It's got a little secret cubby hole up under the bed, storage underneath. I even built a shelf in there with cup holders and stuff. Go check out that video. I'll link it here and it'll be linked in the top of the video description. That's kind of part one of this camper build series. And today, we're kind of going to be adding some new stuff, kind of making a part two video to the build, except for we're going to be working in front of the bed of the truck. We're actually going to be removing the rear seats from the back of my truck, installing a new platform. I've got carpet to match my carpet on the inside of my truck. We're going to put carpet on everything. We're going to build tie down points because I've got some gear that I want to add to the camping experience. If you know me, if you've watched for a long time, you know that I love using these little bodega car camp refrigerators. I've got their little one right here. I've kind of adapted to the small one. I've had the big ones, but they're just kind of, for my truck, they're too big. This little one right here is going to be perfect. So I want to incorporate it into the build. I want to incorporate my Jackery into the build, some water storage. Uh, I've even got an ice maker that I got from, uh, I think, New Air last year. And I want to incorporate it into, into this build too somehow. I don't want to put too much back there, but I do think that if I do this build correctly today, we can have storage behind the seats, you know, behind my front seats. We can have places for our refrigerator, our Jackery, all that cool stuff. I didn't use my back seats much anyway. I really, my dogs are the only people, <laughs> people that ever sat in my back seat. And even for them, they're two small chihuahuas and I got a blue healer, but if I hit the brakes, they end up in the floorboard. So I'm gonna fix that today too. So all of this is gonna be in the back of the truck, you know, in the back seat area where it used to be back seats. But I'm also gonna make a spot to keep a dog bed for my dogs when they go camping with me or we go fishing or whatever. They're gonna have a place back there just for them with storage underneath. So I've got it kind of all drawn up in my head and I'm gonna, we're gonna just hop on it. I pulled the seats out of the truck last night to kind of get a head start of this. I'm gonna draw up some measurement. I got the lumber here today. We're gonna do the cuts, get everything installed, and then just start bolting this stuff down, trying to figure out exactly what's gonna work best for these refrigerator, the refrigerator, the ice maker, the Jackery, all that cool stuff. And before we jump into it, I'm gonna show you the back of the truck because if you did see last week's video and you watched that build, since then I've went ahead and added a an air conditioner in the back of the truck. So that's pretty cool. I've got it all kind of put where it's gonna go permanently while I'm out camping. And I ran the duct work and stuff like that. And I bought a bed. I've got a three inch topper, like a memory foam topper off of Amazon. I got it cut to fit, got it covered, and it's in the back too. So it's pretty cool. Let me show you how it turned out. Kind of excited to be working out here in the shop today, guys, because I finally broke down and added an air conditioner to my garage. Usually during the winter and the summer, either I'm freezing or burning up out here, but I think that's gonna be great. It's, it's been holding the temperature. I got it set at 69, giggity, giggity, but I've had it set there for the last day and it's been keeping temperature out here. As long as I don't open up one of the bay doors for too long, it does a good job. But anyway, here is the back of my truck bed. Uh, if you did miss it, I built this custom bed. I got it carpeted to match. There's a little secret compartment up under there for the solar batteries are gonna go. I got me a shelf in here with some cup holders. Uh, I just put some lighting in there so you guys could see a little bit better because it's really dark. Got fire extinguisher, got some storage underneath. There's two full chairs, a table, a sleeping bag, a blanket. There's, there's a ton of storage up under this bed, not to mention the storage in my pullout drawer here. It's a pretty good sized drawer. Got it crammed full of camping gear. And then I added this. This is my Zero Breeze camping air conditioner. And the way I added it, it's got an intake and an outtake. It actually blows from the front. You can't really see it, but if you wanna check it out, I've got a video on it, I'll link it here. But uh, it's got an intake and an outtake. This is what the exhaust blows out of. So what I did is I cut me a little piece of plexiglass, and it's hard to tell that it's even there, but I've got a piece of plexiglass that I cut, put on this side of the window, so it's behind the bug net, so I, or the bug screen, I was able to keep that on. And let's see if you can see it from the outside here, there you go. So the way I got it is this is plexiglass, it's not just open. Now if I continue to open it, my plexiglass, I've got it where it stops here. And this is, you know, this is just the bug net into the truck. But what I do is when I wanna run my refrigerator, I crack my window 
to where it just goes up here. So you can see kind of where the plexiglass stops here and it seals up against the window. I've got kind of a little pad back there. But what it does is I'm able to crack the window just enough to, for my exhaust to blow out from my AC. And I took one of my tie downs out, which left me a little pilot hole right here in the floor. So I didn't have to drill any holes. I got a little hole there. And that's where the condensation tube comes out of the back of the refrigerator. It pulls the air in here, blows out cold air up there, and the exhaust goes out the window. And it does really good so far. I hadn't had any issues with it. Uh, some people are concerned that it come with two tubes. This, this tube is also supposed to go outside uh, to recirculate outside air, so you're not just constantly recirculating the air that you're breathing inside. But I'm gonna run it like this. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna crack a window. I mean, there's enough airflow through here already. This is not an airtight sealed bed by no means, but I think it's gonna be fine. We're gonna run it like that for a while and see, but that's the build. If you missed it, make sure you go check it out. It's really cool. I've got the Billy Bar's tailgate cover, got the bed rug in the back, and it's gonna be really comfortable. I'm gonna sleep, if you couldn't tell already, I'm gonna sleep diagonally. Even when the tailgate sh shut, it shuts just fine. And I've got almost six foot going across here to lay pretty comfortably and sleep. Not to mention the mattress. Is, it's, it said it was only three inches, but man, it's, it's really thick. I've got the piece that I cut off here. Check that out. It's filthy from laying in my floor, but that's the mattress I put on there. It's pretty cool. But today we're gonna to be converting this lumber into a system for the back seat or where the back seat used to be. Let me show you that. All right, so this is where my back seat used to be. As you can tell, there's plenty of room back here to build stuff and there's several different ways that you can do this, whether you've got a Tacoma or a Dodge or a Chevy or a Ford or whatever you drive. If you've got a crew cab, there's a lot of videos and information online that you can find on how to do a DIY or custom, you know, bed area or not, this is not gonna be a bed, this is actually gonna be a, a place for storage for camping gear and stuff. But I found some cool ideas online. I'm gonna take some that I found and tweak them to fit my needs. And we're gonna continue to use like the storage under the seats. I'm gonna keep those implemented in because I feel like it'd be a waste to get rid of them. And yeah, so we're gonna build a platform back here today places to mount the fridge, places to mount the Yeti, an area for storage, and an area for the dog. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start cutting some lumber and uh, I'll kind of go over with you how I'm doing it. And uh, if you're interested at the end of the video, I'll leave kind of a cut list of what I've done and you know the lengths and measurements and the wood and stuff that I did to, uh, to make this build happen. So yeah, let's quit talking, let's get into this build. All right guys, good morning. It is the next day. I've 
was able to spend most of the night out here. I didn't stay up too late. It didn't take as long as I thought it was gonna take, but I was out here till probably about 10 o'clock, kind of finishing everything up. Got it completely built. I wanna show it to you really quick, but before I show it to you, I wanna tell you what I use to build this and, and how easy these things are to build and how, it is, how easy it is to make them look factory or custom uh, like this one. To me, this looks like you know something you would buy that would bolt back into the back of the truck. I use one sheet of plywood, not even a whole sheet, one sheet of four by eight, three quarter inch plywood. I use the factory seat hinges that, you know, the ones that mount to the bottom of my back seat that would, you know, flip it forward and flip it down so that I could keep that function in this. Uh, what else did I add in here? The carpet that I ordered, I spent, I think, $40 on Amazon for the piece of carpet and it covered just about everything. I didn't do the bottom, but you're never gonna see the bottom. It's on, you know, if, unless I flip it up, you'll be able to see the wood on the bottom. But other than that, this thing is completely covered. I built two tiers. I was able to build a spot for the fridge, for the Jackery unit, for my camera case. So my, when I travel or I go camping and I do filming and stuff like that, I use this Apache case I got from Harbor Freight a while back. It's got, it's custom cut out for all of my camera gear, even my drone fits in here. So I incorporated a spot for this to live whenever we go somewhere. So yeah, anyway, keep that in mind and I'm gonna show it to you empty. I don't have anything in it. Then we're gonna strap everything in it, put everything where it goes, get it hooked up. And then I'm gonna show you how it looks when it's filled up. And I also was able to include my dogs, a uh, elevated dog bed. So they'll actually be able to see out of the window and stuff cause they're little chihuahuas. But anyway, hope you guys are ready. Hope you guys like it. Let me show you what I built. All right, so the driver's side of the truck is where I have the elevated side and I got everything carpeted. Uh, this is black carpet that I ordered. It's supposed to match because my truck said it's got black carpet in it, but I think there's definitely, this is not all the way black. I think my factory carpet is a, a little bit lighter of a shade, but it's okay. Uh, I built the second tier. So this is where my camera box is gonna live. It, it fits exactly right there. This is just an extra storage place uh, that I, added on to it because I had the room. I'm able to fit sleeping bags or not really sleeping bags, my hammock gear, my bug net and stuff like that all fits in there or I could put some shoes or boots or whatever I needed to. That cubby right there is perfect for it. This top tier right here is a dual purpose area. So I've got these, I think these are called J channel tracks. I already had them here at the house. So I incorporated them into the build. We got two over there for the fridge. I'll show you in a minute. And then these two here. What's cool about these is they're almost like a flush mount system. You can just grab these little interlocking things and take them off or you put them where you want them to, to tie stuff down. And I put a set of these on top of this, but this is also where the dog bed is gonna be because I built uh, out of the same mattress foam pad that I showed you at the beginning of the video for my bed in the back of the truck. I took a piece of that and I cut it to fit this box. And I built this box you can kind of see there's a kind of a lip right here. So the pad kind of sits right inside of here. And then I went back and added these J tracks because I got to thinking if the dogs aren't going with me, I can leave the dog bed at home. And then this will be an area for me to strap, you know, extra gear down to this. This is kind of a multi-purpose area. Uh, let me show you the other side. And then I'll show you how I built it to flip up. The lighting kind of sucks in here, guys. So I'm gonna try to do my best. So you see how I cut the bottom board with that shape in it. Uh, I don't know if I included it or not in the video, but I, I kind of drew this out on some white board I had here or cardboard or whatever you want to call it. And I made that shape so that I could go further out here because the hump in the floor sticks up. And if for this thing to tilt, you need it to go, I wanted it to go further out than just, you know, the depth of the hump. So I was able to get this much extra space into the floor. And as you can see, it fills up. I mean, this is a very big area and you'll see once we put everything in here, I did leave my back plate in. So if you are familiar with guys in these Tacomas deleting their back seats, a lot of them will take this out, but I had this net that I've been using for years for storage, just like a bungee net. And I'm able to kind of just strap it down and I'll use this area back here too. So I decided to keep my back wall, just build this platform to come to here. But what's really cool about it, well, here's those other two J tracks. These, the fridge is gonna sit here, you'll see in a minute, and it'll strap just like that. But the reason I got that cut out is because we can do this. We can raise this up, 
I got it on the factory seat hinges, as you can tell. All of them are bolted in. Then I've got me a little foot back here. I ran out of carpet, or I would have carpeted that, but you, like I said, you can't see it once it's set down. And that sets it down and gets me perfectly level. And as you can see, let me come back around to this side. It's hard to film this in the back seat of the truck. I'm gonna try to show you everything though. These are the factory compartments that are under the back seats. And I, I've got webbing back here, some tie downs and some straps. I rarely get into this. You know, I've had this truck for a little over three years now. And I hardly ever, I, I forgot that some of these straps were even in my truck because I never get up under the back seat. But I did want to still be able to utilize that. I didn't want to build the permanent thing here. So that's basically why I utilize the hinges. So now if I want to hinge this forward, I can. And what's really neat is the weight of this platform that I built the, on top holds it up. All you got to do is pick up on it and tilt it forward. And uh, you've got to, I've got to pull my seat forward, my driver's seat, as you can tell. I've got to make sure I got it pulled forward and it clears it perfectly, sits right up, and then we can get up under it. What do y'all think? I think it turned out great. I'm trying to get good shots of it so you can kind of see, but it's really hard to film in this truck. That's what it looks like when looking from the back, which that shot did you no good at all. <laughs> Can't really tell on camera how this looks. Let me get some gear in here really quick. I'm gonna put the fridge in here, my camera gear. I'll throw the dog bed up. Where is that dog bed? I think I put it back here in the back. Here's the dog bed I built. I just got it in a pillowcase for now, but I do wanna get it covered. So what's cool about the dog bed is it is gonna fit. Let me pop these little guys off here. The dog bed sits right up here, and my dogs are gonna be able to lay here when we're going down the road, and they'll still be able to look out the window because, you know, they're chihuahuas, so before the seat was really low, and they had to put their feet up on the edge and barely peek out the window so they could see, you know, while we were going down the road. Now they're gonna be able to lay right here, look out the window, and when they don't go with us, I'm gonna have a whole extra spot to strap gear down or food or whatever I'm taking with me on the camping trip, I'll have that extra room right there. They don't go with me unless like me and my wife both go. So when I'm solo camping, it's gonna be very rare that the dogs would be with me. So that's why I did wanna add these little J tracks and have an extra place for storage. But anyway, let me get all of this gear stuck in here really quick and I'll show you how it turned out. All right, here it is with all of my gear in here. Got my camera box just slides right into the cubby hole there. Once the door's shut, it doesn't move. There's really no space in between there at all, really. Uh, over here, I've got some stuff crammed in here. I got a bug net up there, a camp blanket there. I got my grand trunk hammock. I love that hammock, I've had it for years. I've got my hammock there. The dog bed is here. They're gonna love this thing because it is literally the perfect height you can't see in there through that window tent but it's going to be the perfect height for them to hop on and be able to look out the window i've got the jackery plugged up in here Let's see if i can climb in here and show it to you from the inside so the jackery's plugged up i'm using the dc outlet right now for the fridge i uh, just got it ran around the back ran to the fridge i can't see can you see the fridge running i'll go out and go around to the other side but the jackery fits perfect there and I've got all of this space right here left over. Uh, I'm, hopefully the dogs will be able to hop up and down right here. But you know, when they're not with me, I've got a ton of extra space right there to store stuff. So over here, you can see I'm using my little J-Track system here. I've got my fridge locked down. I can open it on this side, get to everything I need. It's like I said, it's not a huge fridge, but it's gonna be perfect for solo camping. I mean, it's pretty deep over here. It's gonna hold plenty of food for two people or, or especially when it's just me. And this one's even got that cutting board in it. Pull the cutting board out. You can pop it on the top if you wanted to, or you could take it to the tailgate if you needed it to cut some fish up or clean some food or whatever you're doing. It pops back in there like that. Everything is adjustable right here. You can change the settings for both sides. Let me pull the seat forward and you can see it better. 
So you can see, you can adjust the, the settings for it right here. You got one side is the freezer set up, one side is the fridge set up. It's got a USB port right here. And there's a ton of room in here. This thing is gonna work out great. I still have access to all my storage back here in these cubby holes behind this net. Hopefully this footage ain't horrible. I know it's super dark in here, guys, but uh, the only downfall with doing it this way, and I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask, is how am I gonna, with all this gear on here, am I gonna have to take it all out to be able to get up under it? Th the answer is yes, but like I said earlier, I've had this truck for over three years, and I've maybe access the storage under the seats twice, so I'm not really worried about it. The stuff that I'm gonna keep under this is gonna be stuff that I'm rarely gonna need. It's gonna be emergency stuff like the jack, you know, stuff like that is in there. So yes, if I needed to get to that stuff, I'd have to pull the fridge and the jackery and all my gear out to flip it forward to get to it. But I, I, don't, I don't think that's gonna be a problem. That's why I went with it. A lot of guys, they'll do a split, uh, like this whole platform, they'll split it over here 60-40 so that they can just flip over the side over here behind the driver's seat and get to the storage area. But I didn't want to go that route. I wanted it to be one piece and solid. And I wanted to be able to, you know, haul as much gear with me and also wanted it to keep a, a good factory look. I, it, you know, it took me long enough to get up the courage to even pull the back seats out of my truck. This was my dream truck when I bought it. And, I'm slowly talking myself into doing these little mods and stuff, but every mod I do, I try to make sure that I'm not changing anything major on the truck. I'm trying to keep the truck as factory as possible. As you can see, the front is still all factory. Everything, but I've got my little Ramball mount system mounted there for my cell phone. But other than that, everything's gonna remain factory in the truck, except for the back seat and <laughs> the bed, of course. But all of this could be taken out. There's nothing bolted on, hard bolted or anything like that. And I got to have the truck back to factory in no time. But it's the truck that I'm going to use. It's the truck I'm keeping for probably the rest of my life. So I'm going to make it how I want it now. I'm happy with it. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this week's video. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed this build. If you've got any questions about this build, make sure you hit me up in the comments below. Or if you've got any pictures of your build that you want to share, you can tag me on Instagram at KayakUSA, or you can just email me the pictures. My email is in the video description below. And yeah, that is going to do it. We are one step closer to doing some really cool solo kayak camping adventures for you kayak guys. You know, just bear with me. The whole purpose of this build series for this Tacoma is to be able to get out so I can do long distance, far, you know, some really far away trips solo where I'm sleeping in my truck, doing some really cool kayak fishing content for you guys. So bear with me, kayak guys. This is just one step towards that process of us getting out there, getting some cool fishing content and some camp, kayak camping content for you guys. But anyway, I upload every week. So if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've got some other stuff we're going to be adding to this. I'm not done yet. I do eventually want to, you know, possibly add a rooftop tent, but not like the one that we had before. I'm wanting to do a clamshell style. So if my wife does go, she's already told me there's no way we're both gonna fit in the bed of this truck, which I kind of agree, it's, it's super small in there. But anyway, that may be a future video coming up. Uh, we're gonna add a few more things to the inside of this. I gotta do some curtains. I gotta do some blackout stuff in the back. We are going to add my high boost, I believe, uh, for my Wi-Fi cellular boost. I've got everything in for that video. We're gonna install that in the bed of the truck. So if you wanna see that, I've worked with those guys before. So we're gonna install that high boost system on this rig so that I got cell service when we're up in the mountains, you know, when the cell service is really weak, it'll help boost my signal just in case of emergencies or anything like that. So anyway, you guys stay tuned for those videos and I appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you next week. Peace.